The Venn diagram below shows the cardinality of each set A, B, and C. Use this diagram to find the cardinality of the set A intersect B union C. This problem is a little tricky, so let's look first of all at what the set A intersect B union C looks like. So I'm going to write down our set A intersect B union C, and we're going to break this up. We're going to start on the inside first. We're going to take a look at B union C. Now, in words, B union C means all of the elements that are in B together with all the elements in C. Right? So, to get B, B union C, we take all of the elements in B together with all of the elements in C. And so, I'm just going to circle that area. So, all of the elements in B together with all of the elements in C make B union C. But now, what are we supposed to do with that? Well, we're supposed to take that set and intersect it with the set A. Intersecting with A means we want to find the overlap. Specifically, we're looking for the overlap of A, or where A meets B union C. So where does that happen? Well, let's look at our picture. In our picture, A is the purple set, and it is overlapping B union C in this area here and in this area here. Do you see that? This is where this set right here is where A overlaps the union B union C. Now, how many elements are in that set? Well, the number of elements in that set are comprised of the number of elements here, which are in the intersection of A and C only, here, which are in the intersection of A and B only, and here, which is in the intersection of all three sets. So to get the cardinality of the set A intersect B union C, so I'm going to write down the cardinality then of A intersect B union C, or the number of elements in A intersect B union C, is simply 7 plus 3 plus 6. And if we add up those numbers, what do we get? We get 10 plus 6 or 16. So the number of elements that fall in A intersect B union C is simply 16.